What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. This morning, we were talking about a lot of different positions, right? Because the markets were not really moving the right way. And when I say this morning, I mean early this morning. I was live streaming from about 11 o'clock all the way until about 1.30, maybe 2 o'clock or so. And I thought, you know, I needed to, you know, e express what's going on in the markets today because things are falling. They fell down really, really hard out of nowhere. And we were talking about different things. Now, within that talk, we definitely had a longer conversation on XRP and why I believe that this could be worth a lot more than what people think. And, you know, we'll take over certain spots and be worth multiple trillions of dollars, right? And for some people, they were like, hey, you know what? A $1 trillion market cap I can live with. And what you're saying, a $1 trillion market cap makes sense. But seeing it at maybe a $10 trillion market cap or um, $20 trillion market cap or a hundred plus trillion dollar market cap is not feasible. Now, I'm not saying that it will get to a $120 trillion market cap, but what I'm saying is that we could see, you know, halfway to that point, a 50 or $60 trillion market cap. And you're probably like, what are you talking about? If the entire crypto market is not going to be worth you know, that much, when you look at all coins, you look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all of those things, you think that one position is going to get up to that level. I think there's a chance. I'm not saying that there 100% will be um, that option that it does happen. I'm saying that there is a chance for that to happen, depending on what the implementation is for XRP in our current monetary systems, right? our current financial systems, our banking institutions and all of that. So let's talk about this. Let's explain exactly why there's still a chance and not saying that it's 100%, but saying that there may be like a 20 or 30% chance that that does happen, right? Right now we're, um, we have decisions where it could be like a 50-50 type of decision right now. And then the next decision might be more of a 70-30. Next decision might be an 80-20. Do you know what I mean? So a simple decision like whether it gets implemented within banks is that first step. If that doesn't happen, well, now all the other decisions kind of just tumble off, right? So if you see it implemented within certain banking institutions and they they see it as an option, a better option, well, now, you know, it's it's it has that 50-50 chance and it now has 100% chance that it will be implemented within there. But then you also have that decision, will it be implemented within other countries, financial institutions as well. So there's a lot that goes into it. So guys, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, definitely go ahead and follow me there. Also, if you guys want to start trading with uh, with Margex, they offer up to 100x leverage, 50x leverage for uh, things like Solana. And even if you're going XRP, it's a 50x leverage for XRP. So if you want to quickly trade XRP, you have a short term trade that you want to make, and it's guaranteed for you to, to make money, then go ahead and trade on 50x leverage if you guys want to, and make some money out of it. However, you have to make sure that you do things the right way and you work it the right way so that you're not um, losing a ton of money that you try and make more money than you lose and you need to be disciplined. There's a lot of steps to it, to leverage trading. And if you want to learn more about leverage trading, not everything that you could possibly know, but more about leverage trading, I am doing a series on Patreon. If you guys want to check out that Patreon link down below. Anyways, if we look at XRP currently, it's sitting at 61 cents, 62 cents. It's sitting at a $33.3 billion market cap with $2 billion worth of volume. We did see this drop from a level of 67 uh, cents all the way down to 61 or 62, um, back up to 63. And then now it's sitting at about high 61s. Uh, we are seeing that the overall supply, this is something that always remains a factor uh, within these decisions and whether it can get to certain levels. Uh, you're looking at a, about a 54 billion coin supply, 54.9, um, which again is, or sorry, 53.9. And it's about 54% uh, looking at a total supply of 99.9 .9 and a max supply of 100 uh, billion coins. So with that being said, as you see it with 50 billion coins, let's just make it easier and not round up. Let's round down. As you see it with 50 billion coins, you know that a $1 price 
is a $50 billion market cap. A $2 price is a $100 billion market cap. So a $6 price would be a $300 billion market cap, right? A $10 price would be a $500 billion market cap. And then a $20 price, you're adding on another 500 billion, it would be a $1 trillion market cap. A lot of people believe that uh, 10 to $20 is definitely the way to go. But then you start to get into the realm where it's like $100 could be a thing. And if $100 is a thing, that would be a $5 trillion market cap right now. And there's also the discussion where it's a um, $1,000 price, which would be a $53 or $54 billion or trillion dollar market cap. I think I said billion the last time. So it would be trillion, uh, $5 trillion, and then $54 trillion market cap. Hopefully I'm not getting all that confused, but you know what I mean. Um, so what makes me think that this is going to be the case? What makes me think that we're going to see these levels at a level of, let's say here we have $10, a $530 billion market cap, right? Um, then we scroll down here. We see it at a level of 20 cents. That's a $1 trillion market cap. And then in order to see that you know, at a $100 price, again, that's a $5.3 trillion market cap. And then at a $1,000 price, it is a $53 trillion market cap. Now within the live stream, they talked about how all the money in the world, um, you're looking at $120 trillion. So if you see this take over that process, you're looking at that being worth what that is because now this is the standard process if it is going to take over completely and be that faster option now is that 100 percent that that will be the case you know completely tro controlled by you know kind of one company not necessarily controlled by one company but having ripple as that parent company of xrp that really controls the world's monetary system right um all of our our currency that's now not um, you know, the dollar or, or the pound or, or, or whatever, right. Um, it is, um, it is this one currency. So technically seeing all of that in that flow of money within different transactions. Yeah, of course. But the thing is, is that the thing that gives it a little bit more strength is the fact that with different fiat currencies that are out there, different currencies, like say the, um, the United States dollar, the United States dollar gets printed all the time, right? They print new money. They have some sort of inflation. XRP will not have that. All you will have is the increase of the overall value of what that's worth. So having that in general will, will show you exactly what that price can absolutely be. You'll never see that increase because they have a max supply and it will never go over that max supply there. Also, uh, debts in the form of cryptocurrency are not going to be a thing. You don't have any IOUs of those those cryptocurrencies that that are there. So you're looking at you know the standard amount, whatever's there is there, and you're sending it back and forth. I guess you can have um, something in place maybe to to create that that sort of uh, debt associated with it. But I would have to think about that a little bit more as I think about it. Maybe that is a, a system that's in place. But either way. You're seeing the flow of money within those transactions that can equal up multiple trillions of dollars. Um, and that's just in the understanding of the the amount of money that's out there, but also the flow of that money is another another thing because this can be uh, treated as an investment and people that hold what that is and never have anything new that's printed. So you have a lot that's sitting on the sideline that will never be touched and gains value because of the fact that only 50% of the overall supply is moving because 50% is sitting in people's wallets and never being touched, right? So now you have a whole nother process at your hand. So I feel like as you look at everything together and how it's compounding, XRP can be worth multiple tens of trillions of dollars. But it's not 100% confirmed because again, you have to have that first decision, right? implementation within banks, implementation within the standard way of going through transactions. If you see that 50-50 split, it now becomes 100% that it gets implemented within different banking systems. And now it's um, going cross country and cross border um, and um, also being implemented within uh, different transaction types. So you have all of these different steps that I feel like need to be taken place. And if they do, you can now see um, XRP at a level of multiple trillions of dollars. 
Now, when it comes to my exit plan, just because I talk about this, does this mean that I'm holding all of my XRP until $10,000 or $1,000 or something like that? No, I have certain levels that I plan on taking some profit with, whether it's a dollar, um, whether it's $5 or $10, those are the levels that I will be taking profit with so that I can sit on a $5,000 gain while having 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 that's in there, right? Um, and it may be at a lower level of $5 to $10 to $20. And then you see whatever else left is sitting in there and what that could be worth in the end. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this. Do you believe that XRP can truly be worth a $54 trillion market cap? Or am I crazy for saying that it's even a possibility? I want to know your opinions down below. I always save all of these comments. So when things do happen like that, I can always like go back to it and be like, yeah, yeah. Um, where is this person at now? And even if I'm wrong, I always want to go back to those comments and, you know, probably tell them, Hey, you know, you were right about this. And I want to see, I want to see communication there. I'm always open to being as transparent as possible, showing you how much I have, showing you what I believe in. And uh, I want to know what you think XRP is going to do. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links down below. Also, um, check out Margex if you guys wanna start trading with up to 100X leverage. But I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.